Morning. Okay, great. Really? That sound check. How are we all? We're good? We are good. Oh, How are you? Yes. Doing great. Great. I am I am well. I, am I don't well. understand how you're well at this phase and doing so great. You're anti I, I think it's the anticipation. <laughs> Something good to come. Thank you, Dr. Amande. All right, Dr. Gray, you can tell me when you're ready for us to start officially. Right. I'm not hearing Dr. Gray, but I'm assuming we're ready to start, so we're going to get going. Okay. So good morning, colleagues, and thank you for taking the time to be a part of this launch activity this morning as we launch the MOOC platform. I know this has been some time in coming, but it is an exciting time for us as we go through this activity of making more of our programs easily accessible to those members of the public that we serve. And as we come this morning, we're gonna be very succinct in how we go through the proceedings, but we trust nonetheless that it will be a meaningful session and that at the end of the launch, persons will have a pretty good understanding of what this new initiative will do in terms of expanding our products and our services and making them more accessible to the persons that we serve or very valued stakeholders. I want to take the opportunity to welcome you all to this activity this morning. I know we have several members represented from right across the organization. I want to make special mention of Ms. Kenisha Campbell, Deputy Managing Director Acting, Dr. Marcia Rua Monde, Senior Director of Learning Resources and Curriculum Development, Dr. Henry Griffith, Director for Learning Resources Development, and all other directors, regional directors, managers, team members, members of our trainee core, members who may just be joining from the public. Thank you so much for taking the opportunity to be with us this morning. I'm Julia Smiley Green, Hearts Director of Marketing and Communications, and I will be taking you through the proceedings. Before we go any further, I will invite at this point, Ms. Natasha Nito, Education Technology, the Education Technology Management Unit to invoke God's presence on our launch activity. Okay, good morning, everyone. Are you able to hear me? Loud and clear. Go awesome. right ahead. Okay, awesome. All right, let's just pray. Mighty God, even now as we come before you, God, we recognize that there is no other unlike you, Lord. We come recognizing, Lord Jesus, that you are the one who is here with us. And Lord, we recognize as well that as we're about to launch this MOOC initiative, oh God, we can't do it without you. So we pray for your direction. We pray for your wisdom. We pray, Lord, that as this initiative is a strategic one, that you will guide everything that is being done. I pray, Lord God, that it will also be very impactful for all the persons who will be participating. We pray also that as we go through, Lord, that the different persons who will be participating today, I pray, Lord, that there won't be any disruption or distractions given the fact that we're doing this virtually so lord we just tell you thanks for everything and we declare a spirit of excellence for everything that will be done so have your way now even now amen amen thank you so much miss nita i'm sure that we feel a little more blessed as we know that the presence of the lord is here with us and will guide us as we go through the proceedings. So thank you so much for that. 
At this point, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting an overview of the MOOC. And it is my pleasure to invite Ms. Kenisha Campbell, Deputy Managing Director, acting to provide us with that overview. Thank you, Mrs. Smiley Green. Good morning, colleagues. Are you hearing me, Julia? Yes, we're hearing you. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, great. Good morning. Uh, it is really my pleasure to be this morning participating in the launch of the MOOC learning platform, which really is testament to the work being done by the division and by the learning resource development department. I really must say a big thank you to Dr. Gray, who has led this initiative tirelessly, Dr. Gray and his team. And the, this initiative really is for us to be expanding access to our programs and our services. And as you know, expanding access to our programs and services is one of the strategic direction objectives of the organization. And we have been responsive in shifting our modes of delivery as we were impacted by the COVID pandemic by integrating the technologies to ensure that we are impacting a wide range of prospective trainees, of trainees that are in training and persons outside of Jamaica in the Caribbean who would like to be doing our programs. We're aware that persons are seeking learning opportunities and persons want to do their training anytime, any place at reasonable cost using these flexible modalities. And it is with this in mind that today we are launching the massive open online course platform. The, the learning platform is based, it is free and it is open to all learners, trainees, prospective trainees to the hard NSTA system. This online delivery strategy is really a game changer in the way we deliver training to our stakeholders. And colleagues, you would be aware that the surveys that come to us, whether in sector studies or in tracer studies, ask that our programs be delivered in such a way that persons at any time and anywhere can access our programs. We are only beginning with five courses. And however, Dr. Gray and his team will lead the build out of the MOOC to several other programs over time. We have programs that last for three to six weeks. We have programs, the Internet of Things, Introduction to Entrepreneurship, Introduction to Cybersecurity, Digital Literacy, World Skills Jamaica, and, and a World Skills Jamaica Orientation Model. Module, sorry. Uh, trainees have the opportunity to register and enroll online, to complete training online, to complete assessment online, be certified within one month after all quality checks are completed. The courses are managed by Hart College of Innovation and Technology, and I must, and the BTDI and the World Skills Secretariat. And I really must congratulate the teams from HCIT, VTD, and WorldSkills in really holding this platform together and ensuring that we are meeting the deliverables. Trainees are monitored weekly during their application, training, and assessment process towards completion. And we have monthly status reports that are provided that will assess the efficacy of this learning approach over the next six months to determine its impact. I want to take this opportunity to thank again, Dr. Gray and his team, the LRDD, Dr. Amunde for your leadership, the ICT division, marketing and communication, HCIT, VTD and our external partners, ITEC Innovation Limited for implementing this platform. I wish to express a special thanks to the training system in stress testing the platform, uh, 
NCPD training system, you are called on to do many things, but I think you have and have risen to the task at hand. And so I want to thank you. I want to encourage everybody to maximize the use of this online platform. I ask all staff members to share the platform to other persons external to heart so that we can really see the benefits of the system and to make the changes as required. And with that, colleagues, I declare the launch of the massive online open source training program, learning platform for the organization. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Campbell, for that overview of what the platform will do for us as an organization and also for the potential trainees who will benefit from this new and readily available platform that is also free of cost to them. And also thank you for the commendations that you would have passed on to the various team members who would have been integral in getting this platform up and running and ensuring that it is in a state where it will be effective in the delivery of these courses to our trainees. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting a demonstration of the platform. So now that we've heard the overview from Ms. Campbell of what it can do, we actually want to see that in action. And to give us that demonstration, we have Mr. Kemar Graham, Managing Director of iTech Innovations Limited. So Mr. Graham, over to you for the demo. Thank you very much. Okay, great. So the URL just to start out by repeating the URL for persons who want to access the site and maybe follow and look at what it is that we're doing at the same time. It is https colon forward slash forward slash free open online training dot part dash nsta.org. Once it is that you'd have loaded the site, you'll be presented with the landing page where you have basic information or some brief information about the site, what the site is all about and the programs that are offered. So once we scroll down, we can see the information that is presented. And if we scroll a little bit more, we can find the courses that are offered. To get basic information about each course, we can click on the course. We can either click enroll or we can click the image of the course. We'll be taken to another page where we have the information about the course. And right at this point in time, we could start the registration for the course. We could also use the main menu at the top of the page by clicking on course to also view the same information that's also on the home page. So this gives us more information about the courses offered. If we want to start the registration without selecting a course up front, we can go at the top right and click on the register button. So we can register and later on select the course that we're doing. If we're certain of the course that we're doing, we can just say enroll to this course. Again, we have the basic information about the course, and then we can start the registration. So I'm going to click on start registration. Then you'll present it with a form for you to complete. So first, I'm going to ask on the TRN. My date of birth. first name, my last name, and please bear in mind that your first name, last name, and TRN must match as the system validates your TRN with your first and last name to ensure that you are the actual owner of that TRN. A mobile number is required. And an email address. So as part of the registration process, you, are, you will be required to 
validate your your email address. So after completing the form, an email will be sent to me for me to validate my for me to validate my email address. So we ask for one contact information. I'll just use my same information here. Again, it asks for an email address. I'll just say brother. Select the parish and I'll submit my registration. So I've already registered, so I'm going to use another PRA. All right, so I'll just use another person and I'll just go ahead. Bear in mind that you can only register once. This email is Great. So <clears throat> once I've completed the registration process, I then check my email for the verification. I'll just demonstrate what that message will look like so you will not be able to sign in without verifying or validating that you're the actual owner of the email so the email will look something like this it says dear first name and last name an account was created for you and you'll get your username and your password I'll just copy. So I'll click, click here to sign in. I'll enter my username and I'll then go back to my email and also enter the password that was sent. Once I hit sign in, the next step that I would need to perform is to complete the assessment. And this is just to determine the level at which you are reading, or I can be corrected. So if I take this test and fail, this system will force me to wait 14 days before I can retake the test. And if I fail the second time, I still have another, an additional 14 days. And after failing the test three times, then you're placed on a waiting list where further intervention will take place. But I'm just going to go ahead and pass the test so I can demonstrate moving to the next step. So let's answer the questions that are here. Just read and ensure that I answer based on the correct question. Then I'll submit. Once I submit, get my congratulation message. I got 80%. So now I can click on the course to access the course content. So once I click on the course, it will now give me access to the content of the course. First, you'll be given a little tour of the course. You can say in the tour, I can take the tour at another time. So what I can now do is to take my time, watch the videos, read the content, take the various tests or quizzes, assignments, whatever it is that is in the course. So I have my course material here and I'll just follow the instruction based on what it is that is presented in the course. So once it is that I've completed the course, the content, I will then be taken back to 
the home page or my dashboard. And this area will change from what it looks like now to a complete status. And that is when you would receive your badge or certificate. Please bear in mind that there are various stages that your application will go through before it becomes certified. They have some system process and you have some manual process that will be taking place before you are certified. You will only be able to enroll for one course at a time. Once it is that you've completed the first course, then you can move to the second course. If it's a case where you want to change to another course before completion, you'd have to submit a request for that to happen and a staff member or admin will be able to change you from course A to course B as part of that request for change of course. So pretty much that's it that we have for the site. Very straightforward to navigate. You can always use the FAC section of the site to get any question answered as it relates to the courses offered or how it is that you perform certain tasks on the site. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for that demonstration, Mr. Graham. I'm sure we are a little more knowledgeable now on how best to navigate the site, to sign up for programs and to access training. I see some questions coming in the chat and I see persons are actively responding to those. So we thank you for your interest colleagues and the questions, do keep them coming. You will be getting responses. We also have a Q&A segment that is reserved at the end. If you would like to voice your questions, then you also have that option. But we like the interaction that is happening in the chat. So keep that going as we go through the rest of the proceedings. We are going to hear now, colleagues, some perspectives from two participants who would have already accessed training through the platform. So at this point, I'm going to be inviting Ms. Katharina Brown, Digital Literacy from the Digital Literacy Unit at the Vocational Training Development Institute to share her perspective with us. And that will be followed by Taniqua Francis from the VTDI as well, who will give us the perspective there. So I'm going to invite both participants one after the other to go ahead and share your experiences with us. Good morning. My name is Katharina Brown. I believe that learning is more than just a job opportunity that provides persons growth and development. This is what MOOC does. I registered for the digital literacy course which I completed hassle-free. Registration was straightforward and easy. All the necessary resources, videos, and information was readily available. What I like about MOOC is that it is convenient to complete these courses on your own time and in your own space. It is with no hesitation to refer persons to utilize this opportunity of taking these free online courses. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll go to Ms. Francis now for, for the second perspective. Hello, good morning. I'm Tammy for Francis. When invited to attempt a course online, I was a bit hesitant because I wasn't sure if it was a type of learning best suited for me, but I was surprised to learn how convenient studying at your own pace could be. Seeing as I work a full nine to five job, Mo gave me an opportunity to possibly get certified while not tackling the strains of applying and studying at a university or college. I completed the digital literacy course and I'm happy to report that it was undemanding and effortless. Information provided was straightforward and easy to grasp. 
The site itself was no threat to maneuver and was trouble-free. It's safe to say that this is a platform that I'll be using again in the near future. Thank you. Thank you so much for those perspectives, ladies. And I'm happy to hear that you've had positive experiences. And not only have you had positive experiences, but you're also saying that you would recommend this platform and you would continue using it. So that's very heartening to hear. It means, colleagues, that we would have ventured into a targeted intervention that is making some impact. And this is what we are here to do to ensure that whenever we come up with these new initiatives, they are also adding meaning to the lives of the persons that we are targeting. So we thank you participants for those perspectives and we wish you all the best as you continue to use the platform to access uh, training for your own personal and professional development. We're moving now, ladies and gentlemen, to hear a little more about training support and monitoring. And we're going to be starting with the perspectives from Well Skills Jamaica. And this will be shared by Mrs. Stacy and Kane Davis, Senior, Senior Programs Director, acting in the National Training and Programs Division. Over to you, Stacy. Okay, thank you so much, Mrs. Smiley Green. Good morning, colleagues, and I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, World Skills Jamaica is really and truly happy to be a part of this initiative, Massive Open Online Courses. I believe that um, it really is a response to how flexible we are in providing our uh, programs, program offerings, and creating greater accessibility. So we are one of five courses. It's really, this module is really an orientation to the World Skills program. It's providing an opportunity for all our trainees out there to understand what is World Skills, how they can be a part of it, the benefits to be garnered from this international movement that supports and raises the awareness of TVET right across the world. And so we are happy to be able to be offering this through the MOOC. And we are just looking forward to um, our trainees logging on and being a part of this very exciting experience of the World Skills Program. And we encourage everybody, want to thank the team at World Skills Jamaica, the entire secretariat, for the work that they would have extended. Quite a bit of work would have gone into putting together this course, uh, and we hope that you know our trainees will truly find it beneficial. <laughs> Brush your shoulders off, World Skills team. <laughs> All right. And so, in terms of support, we have our World Skills um, manager Andrew Mitchell, who will be leading the charge in this regard. He's right beside me, and we'll hear from him from him in a little while. Uh, we have Ms. Kadeen Davis Blaygrove, World Skills Officer, who will also be providing monitoring and support. We have Odin Brown, another World Skills Officer who is there as well. And then in our administration, we have Angela Winter and Shavar Cameron. So a very solid team. Um, they're there for you. We will just drop in the chat in a little while the email addresses for these persons. You can reach out to them at any time in terms of if you're having any challenges, logging on, accessing the course. At the end of it, you get a certificate of participation to show that you would have completed successfully. And it's really a mandatory uh, uh, module that we're putting forward for all the trainees. So we recommend that it's done at the top of the training so that you're fully immersed and, um, you know, just whetting your appetite for the levels of engagement that will happen throughout the course of your training. All right. So um, we're happy to be a part of it and we encourage everybody to get on board and benefit in a significant way. Thank you. Mr. Mitchell. All right. I'm going to invite Mr. Mitchell to just say a few words. Uh, good morning, colleagues. It is indeed a pleasure for me to um, you know, greet you on this platform and to endorse, you know, from the World Skills Office and the Office of the Deputy Managing Director, the launch of the MOOC, and we believe that it is a strategic tool that will enhance our system, our training system, 
and as was mentioned by Mrs. Kane Davis, the component for worse is is key. We want to ensure that all our persons entering our system, those exposed to orientation sessions, that it is a key component for them to be sensitized to world skills, Jamaica, as we further seek to you know infuse the international standard and best practices into what we do locally so that it is seamless. Normally for the international competition, over the years we have had to pull persons and do specialized training. But the aim is that over a period of time it will be seamless that whatever is done in the national training system um, is similar to what is done internationally. So that even when we have competition, it is easier for us to pull persons with the high standard of competence to you know compete and represent our nation and the region as well as, as a whole. So I thank you all for coming on board. I are looking forward to ensuring that you know, at all levels, the CTIs, the institutions, even private providers, that they are sensitized to the worst of Jamaica program and they successfully have the, the trainees complete the orientation module on the MOOC site. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Kane Davis and Mr. Mitchell, for those perspectives from World Skills Jamaica. The second perspective we're going to be hearing, ladies and gentlemen, as it relates to training support and monitoring and monitoring will come from the Vocational Training Development Institute. And to give us that, I invite Mr. George Walker. Administration Administrator for the Digital Education Unit. Mr. Walker. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning again, colleagues, uh, everyone online. Th thank you so much for making this possible being on this morning. Uh, as I said, my name is George Walker, one of the administrator for the, the MOOC platform that represents the digital literacy course. The, the VTDI remains committed, remains uh, true, remains focused on delivering quality uh, tertiary technical and vocational education and training. And we continue as an, as an institution to use innovative outcomes-based approaches with a supportive and student-centered environment. So we know time and time again, we have seen the disruptive impact of the, in, the internet can have with industries, uh, more so driving innovation and enhancing customer experience. I certainly have no doubt um, in the MOOC platform. I've seen it work myself. I've been a part of developing courses for the platform and I've, I've seen the impact it, it has had on education. And I think we're just in a world of new innovation that is really amazing there are courses the course that's available through the vtdi is uh, the course digital literacy now this course is essentially an introductory course it comprises of six modules and it's really geared towards facilitating students to effectively utilize technical devices such as you know computers smart devices software and of course the internet so these modules you will, will, students will be taken through working with computers, accessing information online. Uh, we'll be seeing communicating online as well, participating safely and responsibly on, online. There's a module that speaks to creating digital content, as well as the final module, module that speaks to collaborating and managing content digitally. Now, these courses are available globally. They're available free. This is the beauty that the platform allows. This is the beauty that we can now benefit from through this initiative. So the institution, the VTDI, manages the that course. And just shortly, I'll be putting the uh, some contact details in the chat for you to have. Should you ever need any sort of support, we'll be monitoring and maintaining this site. And just to make you aware of the team at the VTDI, so you have myself, George Walker, who is one of the technical assistants there. You also have on the team, Mr. Mark McKnight. He's the digital education coordinator at the VTDI. And of course, Mr. Kemoy Reed is, who is also 
one of the technical assistants. So we'll be the persons you interface with. If you ever need any sort of support, we'll be there to, for you to reach out to. Uh, just putting the contact details in the chat shortly so you can have that. And I trust that you'll have every, everyone who will be able to go on. Just go on and enjoy the course that's there. You've heard from persons who have done it already, the experience that they've had. And so we're looking forward to have more numbers passing through. So we're getting high quality ed education um, through, this MOOC, through, through this MOOC platform and we're happy to be a part of it. Uh, we're opening doors and creating opportunities for so many and that's something to be celebrated. And the VTDI is happy to be a part of this. Thank you so much for this time. Uh, I hand back over to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Walker, for that perspective from the VTDI. I'm sure we should be getting a little more excited now, colleagues, about all that this platform has to offer. We do have one more perspective for monitoring, training support and monitoring. And this time it's going to be coming from the heart of information and technology. And Mr. Kelly Dauber, program manager, will be sharing that perspective with us. Mr. Dauber, go ahead. Hey, good, good morning, everyone. On behalf of the team from HCIT, I'd like to um, first say thanks to Dr. Gray and the team for this opportunity and to welcome you all. Um, the HCIT really took the opportunity to offer three or four more um, requested programs across the MOOC in a self paced modality. The introduction to cybersecurity program is one of our flagship courses. That program is a startup course for persons who would want to continue a path in cybersecurity or just persons who want to protect their information. It's an international certification through the Cisco um, Network Academy and the HCIT will be extending all the support for persons not just to register, for persons to go through and be complete their certification. Um, the other two programs that we're offering is our entrepreneurship course through the same Cisco platform. Persons will find that it's a very demanding course to an extent. It's very in-depth and persons will really move from concept to fruition if they want to start their own business. And our third offering is the Internet of Things. That program is to sensitize persons as to where we are in IT today and where is it we're planning to go in the future. And we really hope that these programs will add some value to um, applicants and persons will be able to use the knowledge that they would have gained from the programs to continue their own development going forward. The team here will be placing our contact details in each of the containers. So we will have persons that will be providing real-time support as best as possible. And we really look forward to your application. Thank you. Thank you so much for that perspective from HCIT, Mr. Dobbin. And those courses sound very exciting. So I'm anticipating that there will be great take up for those. We are moving now, ladies and gentlemen, to the question and answer segment of the proceedings. I know you have already typed several questions in the chat that have been answered, but we also want to give an opportunity. No, if there are additional questions that you have, we have a host of resource persons on standby, Dr. Gray and his team, those persons who would have shared the perspectives from the monitoring, training support and monitoring, who would have been integral in putting some of those courses together. So if you have additional questions, now is your opportunity. You may choose to open your microphones, raise your hands, wait to be identified, open your microphones and voice your questions, or you could continue to place that in the chat and we will provide the responses as necessary. So if you have questions, ladies and gentlemen, now is your opportunity.
I am not seeing any hands going up. Neither am I seeing any new or unanswered questions in the chat. So yeah, I'm going to say to ladies and gentlemen that we are do I hear a question? Um, right, I, I have one. Um, Go ahead. You mentioned that the, you'll get a certificate of participation once you complete um, successfully one of these courses. So what, what would be the pathway for the next step? Dr. Gray, could you say that one? Right, so can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes go ahead. Claire. Right, so once you have completed this course, this would be part of your credentials that would be used for further um, programs. So based on the requirements of other programs, this program would be one of those potential requirements. So it's really depending on where you want to go next in your career, in your, in your training. Thank you. I hope that response satisfies you, Mr. Simpson. Thank you for your question. Do we have any additional questions, colleagues? Yes, good morning. Uh, Julia, can I just add to that? Just to extend that a bit. So it is one module. It's one module that, as was said, it can form the requirements for a larger program. So you can go into a larger program and get recognition for this and not have to pursue this. So it will help, it, it's part of the competency-based approach where you do, that we practice here at heart, where you do modules, building blocks towards a larger program. So it is what it's now being called in Jamaica in the education space, a micro-credential that can go towards a full credential. <laughs> Thank you for that, Dr. Monday. I heard another question coming, so please go ahead. All right, quest, uh, quest, uh, pleasant morning to you all. Uh, what I want to find out is there an assigned task mark? as it relates so you must achieve X in order to be to receive a certificate of participation. Yes, the price mark is 50%. Okay, thank you for that, sir. I see, a question. I see right, a another question in the chat. One, one moment, Mrs. Levigos. There's a question in the chat, Dr. Gray. Um, if this system is not unique to only Jamaicans, what is the alternative for a TRN? The registration specifically asked for TRN. So what's the alternative for that? Right. So once you, the system checks that you're not Jamaica, Jamaican, it will route you to an alternative uh, uh, enrollment key, which is your email. So it will not prevent you from enrolling once you put your proper location. So if you put your, you know, USA or something like that, it will check your location, you know, with the geofencing uh, strategies and will give you an option to put in another kind of unique ID for registration. Okay, thank you, Dr. Gray. Go ahead with your question, Mrs. Levy Goss. Right, I know it's really online, but will any will, will the youth be going in, in at all at the at the institution, or it's just straight online for the for the duration of the course? Straight online and self paced. Okay. Straight online. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Do we have any further questions, Kali? We still have a few minutes to accommodate. Mm -hmm. Some additional questions. Yes, go ahead. Yes, another question from me. Um, as it relates to the content, is the content downloadable? Can trainees download, say, for instance, the handout that is on the platform, or they must access everything on the platform? Yes. I think. So, yes, most of the content is downloadable. Okay. Okay. Thanks. 
question? Yes, go ahead, Mr. Henry. Um, I, I heard somebody mention a certificate of participation, but if there is a minimum grade or pass mark that is required, would it not then be a certificate of competence? Well, so let me clarify that. So in the case of the world skills module, certificate of participation, but in terms of the others, all the others will be certificate of competence and will lead, as Dr. Monday mentioned, mentioned earlier, as part of your micro-credential to other, other courses or other program or the bigger program. Okay, good. Um, another question related to the same point. Um, is it possible then, and I hear to a bigger credential, or would that be going as far as maybe a degree or a level five program? Yeah, so based on the fact that these, these are going to be uh, stackable credentials, yes, these micro credentials will lead to other programs. So it's really based on the requirements of the higher level programs, because you know, higher level programs always say, these are the prerequisites. So based on the prerequisites, it will be determined that this is relevant or not. Thank you, Dr. Green. No problem. Thank you so much. There's a, there's a similar question from Mr. Riley in the chat. I believe your answer would have sufficed, Dr. Green. Mr. Riley, you could just indicate in the chat if Dr. Gray's response to Mr. Henry's first question would have also sufficed for what your question was in the chat. Are there any other questions? Thank you for the confirmation, Mr. Uh, Are asked, there any other questions, colleagues? Question was asked yes. about um, the YouTube. Okay, so the, the, content, you. the content will be uploaded to YouTube. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Gray. I think I hear another question coming. Yes, good Go right morning. Up. Good morning to everyone. What, what type of course do you have available and how do you um, sign up for the course? And how long will it take? Oh, uh, may I go ahead, Mrs. Green? Yes, Dr. Green, let's keep the answers flowing. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so. So the courses are Internet of Things, cyber basic cyber cybersecurity, and those basic entrepreneurship. You also have uh, the World Skills module, and the last course for now will be the is the digital literacy course. And once you click on that link that we have placed in the chat here, you will see the courses displayed. Okay, I so see another question. Is that it? Right, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Green? Green. We have a follow up. Um, One moment, Dr. Amon. Yeah, just to add a We have a follow up. Okay. Mrs. Daily Bill. No, go right ahead, Dr. Monday. Right. So these courses are also from different providers. We heard World Skills mentioned. Internet of Things and Cybersecurity RT are Cisco related courses. So you will be getting the certification from Cisco for those. And then we also have certification with the digital literacy from the VTDI. So it is a place for various providers, including external providers like Cisco and WorldSkills. And we're going to increase as we go along to also offer courses. So the certification that you get will be tied to these providers. It's not only a, a, a certificate of competence, but you also get this, the certification from Cisco. Thank you for that, Dr. Amande. Yes, Dr. Gray. What was that, Mr. Henry? Henry. Go ahead. Um, we have been doing within the heart for job certification or modular um, assessment and certification. How possible is it for those
those uh, components or those uh, certifications that can be completely um, accessed online? How possible is it for these to be uploaded and by extension um, evaluated online? And the micro certification also offered online for these, these courses? Uh, may I go ahead, Mrs. Green? Yes. Right. So, Mr. Henry, that's exactly where we are going with the training delivery. Many of the courses already are being delivered via uh, another platform, which is a little long, the longer programs online. So, we are actually building this, this platform with short and pointed courses. And also courses that we believe will you know, be completed because we really want that these MOOC courses, massive open online courses will be courses in high demand and will be quickly completed. So we have been placing other courses online in a flexible modality where both instructors and the trainees would interact. Some uh, strictly online and some with a little degree of flexibility based on the nature of technical skills that are hands-on skills that are required. So we are carefully selecting the courses that are going to be placed in a self-paced uh, manner. But, but yes, that's where we are going. And that's where we have gone in fact. Many courses are now online in the organization. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for that. I'm going back to the chat. Will these credentials be added to the blockchain with the other digital certs? And will they be accessible or shareable from the block search wallet? Dr. Gray? Right. So in relation to the customized programs, we have not yet gotten permission uh, from the block search provider to make those uh, available in that form. But we are, that has been proceeded, uh, uh, discussed at this point with ICT div division. But in terms of the others, the uh, the job qualifications, yes, they will be part of the block cert uh, technology, blockchain technology. And I must also say, though, that uh, these programs will be, you'll be getting a digital uh, credential, whether it's going to be a badge or a certificate based on where you are in the training. So everything will be going digital, I must say, <laughs> in a short while. Thank you, Dr. Gray. One more question from the chat. Is there a specific time to start any course you might be interested in to do on the MOOC platform? A very great question. And that is why we have said to you, it's free open, meaning that you can start anytime and we hope you'll end within three to six weeks. So anytime, day or night, anytime, you know, anytime in terms of if you're ready now, Think you're ready? You can start now. If you're ready, think you're going to be ready next week, you know, next two months, you can start. Free and open. Open okay, in the trust great. of sense. Thank you for that clarification, Dr. Gray. I see someone also asking for our YouTube handle. It is Heart NSTA Trust. So that's the handle we use for all our platforms YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Heart NSTA Trust. We can take maybe one or two more questions, colleagues. I am not seeing any in the chat that looks like it has not yet been answered. But I'm sure our colleagues will continue to monitor just in case there are any, there's any that has been missed, you will definitely get a response. Is there anyone with a final question before we wrap up? Okay, I have one. So I know, I know persons have been asking about YouTube. So is it that the lessons, so we'll not get a direct um, um, teacher, I should say teacher, <laughs> to do the courses, it will be done through YouTube videos? 
Oh, so the courses are structured are structured for interaction within the learning environment. Once you have registered, you'll be having um, guided videos in the course area and instructions. And the system will be monitoring your behavior within that space and give an update as to where you are. So it will not necessarily be YouTube videos. It will be videos within the learning space. Right? We may use some of the YouTube videos, but it is not necessarily YouTube videos per se for the instructional content. These are videos that are tailored precisely for the course and really targeted for the particular course area that you're focusing on. Contribute something here, please. Go ahead, Tisha, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. right. So, colleagues, um, I think the confusion was uh, when we mentioned that this would be on YouTube, I think that we're, we were mentioning the recording for this session will eventually be on YouTube. And I think that is where the confusion came in, in terms of this, the MOOC being on YouTube um, in terms of the content. But colleagues, please also remember that the, um, there are instructional videos that will be on YouTube and we will continue to add to those. So if you visit the, the YouTube link, which I've added to the chat, you will be able to go there and see what we already have and additional will be added as well. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, thank you for that, Keisha. Ms. McKenzie. I see two other questions in the chat, so I'll take them quickly. If we want to utilize the platform in the institution, how do we gain access to set up the program? All right, Dr. so Green? so in use, in use, if the location, our institutions really want to be using this platform, then there we can there have this discussion with their managers, then their directors. The regional directors will indicate to uh, that the request is there, and then we'll facilitate. We'll analyze the program, look at the program, its requirements, and then we move it to the next level. But we must assess each program for its uh, likely, likelihood or likely, likely uh, potential for completing it quickly. We really don't want to have a MOOC provision program that is likely to take a long time. We really want to see the high throughput rate being maintained. Right. Thank you, Dr. Gray. And our final question from the chat for you, is there a single point of access for end user support on this platform? And yes. what is the risk time? Yes. So we we discussed this matter just yesterday to make sure that there's one email, one link, and there's a link, there's a contact there right now that will be supported by the three main entities. Uh, so once that contact uh, link is clicked, we are expected to give you a response within a day. Yes. So. We don't foresee any issue that will take longer than a day for response. So that link is already on the platform. That when someone clicks on it and posts their his or her, you know, question, it's been monitored to give you a response within a day. Thank you so much, Doctor yeah, Gray. We means we means VTDI. Yes. In the question matter relates to VTDI. Uh, LRDD. This is my department. It relates to us. HCIT relates to. Um, that location, and of course, the VT, the uh, World Skills Secretary. Sorry. Great. Thank you so much for those responses and clarifications, and thank you, colleagues, for those very critical and probing questions that you would have posed and gotten those very comprehensive responses to. We. We are going to be bringing the curtains down on the launch activity for the MOOC at this time. But to do that formally and thank you, I will be inviting Dr. Henry Gray, Director of Learning Resources Development, to do or thank you, and then we close out. Back to you, Dr. Gray. All right, so thank you to Mrs. Green. I really want to say thank you, a big thank you 
to all the persons who are present, but I really want to sing with a few others. So, you know, on February 28th, we got approval from the executive team and we really want to thank the executive team for providing approval for this MOOC launch. We also want to thank Ms. Kenisha Campbell, Acting Managing, Deputy Managing Director, for giving the approval as well at her divisional level. Then Dr. Marcia Rowan, Monday, Senior Director, Standards Curriculum and Learning Resources to giving our support as well and guidance. Uh, I must mention my own part of my own team, Keisha McKenzie and the Educational Technology Management Unit team, uh, Natasha Roxanne, Sharon, you know, and others for uploading and configuring the courses on the MOOC. And Mr. Kemar Graham, he has been really, really with us from the beginning, you know, as managing director for iTech Innovation Limited for developing and maintaining the massive open online course system. We also wanted to say thank you to the ICT division for providing the MOOC servers, hosting and other technologies uh, for the MOOC. Mr. Kali Daban, Mr. Mrs. George Estrada Dyer, the HCIT team for providing support and managing the three MOOC, MOOC courses. Ms. Kimberly Mulgrave from HCIT for preparing the MOOC images and the flyer, Mr. Jamil Young for doing the MOOC program, uh, Mrs. Stacy and Kane Davis and Mr. Andrew Mitchell and the, and the team for providing World Skills module and for monitoring the MOOC course. Mrs. Delise Williams, and Mr. Matt McKnight, Mr. George Walker, Mrs. Carolyn O'Connor and the VTI team for facilitating and uploading the digital literacy course and for managing same. Thank you to the training division who helped us with this stress testing of the system. And also when we began this discussion, we also had a planning team, Dr. Marciaro Amande, Mrs. Charlene Mohan, Sakali Darbon, um, other team members like Ms. Marsha Grant and the NCTV team, the ITC team. We really want to thank them for helping us to have gone to this far. Mrs. Buda Smiley Green, Mrs. Mali Graham and the entire marketing team for helping us and even for moderating this um, MOOC launch at this time. I want, really want to thank you. Thanks to the trainees who have completed the MOOC training, especially Katrina and uh, you know, Ms. Francis. The persons in the training division who helped us, I mean, we stress test this uh, system for approximately two weeks and uh, it came out really feeling robust. We, we felt robust and felt confident about it. And so the persons who have started the training on the system, we thank no, you for having done so well. And to everyone listening, a big thank you. Thank you all. Over to you, Mrs. Green. Thank you so much, Dr. Gray. I'm gonna ask Anastasia to mute your microphone, please. Dr. Gray, thank you for the thank yous that you have extended. I see you're getting a lot of applause and celebration in the chat and also from the emojis. I see lots of applause and celebratory icons going up. So it is my pleasure, colleagues, just to say thank you all for taking the time to be here with us for this launch activity of the MOOC platform this morning. We are excited. I can see that you are all excited about this. I'm looking forward to the impact that it will make in the lives of those who will access the training. And I'm sure all of you must be equally excited as well. So I want to say thank you all for taking the time to participate. We have had a very good launch. You've been a very good audience. And I thank you for your cooperation to make this successful. And as we bring the curtains down on the launch of this MOOC platform, I wish you all the very best for the rest of your day. Thank you so much, and you do have a productive rest of day. All right. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. Thank you, Julia. Well done. Bye-bye. Well well yeah, well thank you, Mrs. You. Uh, Green and team. Thank you all. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I, I see. You, I see. I see Natasha smiling. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Campbell. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Mundi. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.